I reckon Santa had too many sherries this year because it took him till uh, the end of January to deliver these old bad boys into Lidl. So uh, Lidl's plasma cutting offering for, for this year um, is the Parkside uh, PPSK4081. Nice little roll off the tongue name. Um, it's a plasma cutter that's got an integrated compressor, so unlike the last one which was about half the price, um, this one comes in at about 150 quid. Um, however, if you look online, there's very little online for that sort of money uh, in plasma cutting world, certainly not with um, an integrated compressor in it. Um, I did tell some friends, and a few bought them, and I saw a review, and it looked good. It seemed to do everything it should do. However, <laughs> um, some of the friends who opened it and tried it said it don't work very well. Um, so the in internal compressor apparently is not strong enough to cut through tin foil. So we're going to give it a try, we're going to unbox it, have a look, put it together, see what it'll cut, see what it won't cut, and hopefully we'll get to keep it. So the kit comes with most of the things you'd expect, uh, obviously the important bit, you've got the gun there. Uh, it looks like a decent length on the, the earth clamp or the, the positive clamp as it may be. Uh, it comes with an attachment for the gun. Uh, you get some spare tips, I'm sure they'll come in handy. Um, it comes with a short length of pipe so you can connect an external compressor to, uh, to the plasma cutter if you want to do so. Uh, note it comes with the Euro connector, um, so if you've got something else you may need to get a different connector end for, uh, for your setup. And the main power lead comes with a industrial plug, so now we need to get a converter. <laughs>
So I decided to keep the cock-ups in the video rather than pretending I'm some plasma cutting guru. Um, but say cutting uh, up to 5 mil, 5-6 mil, it seemed to do quite a good job. Um, it was relatively straightforward. Um, I did try the little wheel thing on the thin metal um, and I'm not sure what you'd really use that for because it was hard to cut a straight line and yeah I'm not sure what its use would be really and quite fiddly to fit so I'm not overly impressed by that thing and also I did have a play with it on 5mm uh, and I managed to, to mash up the end of the uh, the tip so I had to replace the tip on the on the gun um, however if you've got a straight edge go for one slightly thicker than mine this was about 2mm and as you probably saw in the video I jumped it a couple of times which uh, caused a problem and I've cut my favourite straight edge which is a bit annoying so anything above 5 6 mil, it was starting to struggle a little bit now that's probably as much down to my lack of experience cutting thick metal than it is the actual plasma cutter itself. Um, I noticed that obviously when I was cutting too fast the sparks jump up rather than going down because it's not cutting all the way through, going too quick. Uh, that was pretty obvious what I was doing there. Uh, and a good little tip is when you get to the end of the workpiece is to uh, lean the gun towards yourself a little bit, or up in the air. Um, and what that does is it makes sure it cuts through at the very end so it doesn't leave it hanging um, as it did on, on a couple of times on the video um, and also it teaches you a lesson in short socks on lava <laughs> so just be warned um, other than that it's, uh, cutting the thicker stuff I say it, it did get through it but I say I struggled a little bit and I say a bit more practice I think we'd, we'd get there all right I didn't actually plug in any external air for any of the experiments, so I was just working off the internal in compressor. Um, I did plug it in just to see what it was like, and there's a big downside to that. So basically, the, the gun doesn't operate the air. So when it's plugged in, it's basically on full time, or you can control it by the little tap on the back. I think that's a bit rubbish. Now I guess it's probably a, a last resort if you need that much air when I mean, you're cutting through quite hefty steel and stuff. Um, however, yeah, it would have been nice to be able to control the air through the through the gun and possibly then use it as a as a permanent air source rather than the internal compressor uh, on a more regular basis. But for whatever reason, um, that's not the way it works. Um, I think personally, I would have preferred to have uh, a lower price. Like the, the previous plasma cutter you could get from Lidl, which is about 80 90 quid, um, and use my own compressor. Um, however, it does make it more accessible to the average um, DIY guy because um, not everybody has got the compressor, I guess. So, takes your choices, I'm guessing, that way. But at least now I can chuck it in the cupboard, I don't have to worry about running airlines, I can just bring out the, uh, the gun and cut things when I need to quite easily. So, I think it's going to do everything I want it to do, which is basically cut steel up to about 5 mil thick because all my stuff's car based really or arty farty based so I can't see me ever needing to cut anything thicker than that anyway uh, so it looks like we'll be keeping it which means we just have to give it a more catchy name and I was kind of thinking something like God of Lightning but that kind of short catchy name has been stolen by the, the welder already so what can we call the God the King of Hot Gas <laughs> See you later, smugheads.